Here's Daddy and I when we first met. Hi there. Hi, Daddy. Mommy's going to tell us a story. I'll give a wave. Are Thomas and the Lost Engine in the story? Yes. And this bluebird and Grandpa and the family. It all began one rainy day in the big city, just before your uncle was born, and I was going to stay with Grandpa. I was with my mum, and I was seeing sights that no one else had time to. All right, I'll get it. Billy, Dad wants to say hello. Hi, Dad. What are you coming home? Oh, OK. Well, I hope the job goes well. Yeah, and I love you, too. Bye-bye. Grandpa's been so sad since Grandma Tasha died and he never comes here to see us. Well, maybe your visit will cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Did you get his present? Here. I'm making him a friendship bracelet. Honey, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'd rather just stay here with you. Mm. I'm going to go up this way. Be careful. You always say that. Hmm? You're coming with me to Grandpa's Bluebird. I know how much you like to travel. The big city is far away from Grandpa's house on Muffle Mountain. And I had no idea that he and that mountain shared a secret hidden deep within it. Nor did I know that a man called Boomer was determined to discover the secret. And if he succeeded, he would destroy a precious universe. Every story, like a railroad, has its heroes. Meet Thomas, and this is where he and his friends live, the island of Sodor. There's no place like it, and if you have the imagination that I think you do, you'll know why. What does that sign say? Sodor Railway. Really reliable and right on time. And you weren't, little Thomas. And you're being bossy, Gordon. Now, please excuse me. I'm meeting Mr. Conductor. He's taking care of us while Sir Topham Hatt takes a very important holiday. I think we can take care of ourselves. Get out of my way! I have unfinished business here. I want to finish it fast. What was that? That's Diesel 10. 10 out of 10 for devious deeds and brutal strength. He's a blast from the past, and he hates steam engines. But maybe we do need Mr. Conductor here, after all. <laughs> Mr. Conductor knows Thomas well. The island of Sodor is at one end of Mr. Conductor's universe. At the other end, across a wide ocean and over Muffle Mountain, where Grandpa lives, is Shining Time, a contented railroading town hidden deep in a valley. This is the place that Mr. Conductor calls home. Hello, Moby Dick. Enjoy your walk.
Mr. Conductor likes to lend a helping hand, but some folks never see him to say thank you. There, Mott. Paint job's finished. I reckon shining time is the best welcome sign of any town in our valley. <coughs> well, I'm glad you agree. Well, this old map sure helped a lot. He's on his way back now, is he? You hear that train whistle sooner than it hears itself. Come on. Fine work, Patch. Oh, thanks. Is something wrong with Rainbow Sun, Mr. Two Feathers? I heard your brakes go on. Everything's okay, Patch. Oh, I've been looking at your map. What are these mysterious shadowy lines on it? They look like straight railroad tracks, but I can't see any tracks around here except for the ones that you travel on. It's mysteries that make this land so... Magical? Well, I better be off to Muffle Mountain. I promised Mr. Stone that I'd clean out his yard today. Does Burnett Stone ever give you a smile? No, but he doesn't frighten my horse either. Which means I don't think he's a bad man. I think he's just sad. So that's it, Grandpa. I hope you'll like it. I hope it fits. I hope it'll help to make you happy again, too. You're Billy Two Feathers. You know who I am? You're P.T. Boomer. And you left this valley a long time ago. You nearly caused an accident. Now, now I'm back. I'm looking for Burnett Stone. Where is he? Wherever he wants to be. Playing innocent like everyone else in this town won't work. I'll find him. Yes, there is innocence here. Don't mess with it. Station manager Stacy Jones speaking. Oh, yes. The 1015 from Pelican Falls to Shining Time is right on schedule. You're welcome. Oh, have a wonderful trip. Great time. Oh, Billy. I found this child's drawing in an old locker in the Lost and Found. Look at the signature, Billy. Burnett Stone. <laughs> it's hard to believe Grumpy Burnett could have ever looked that happy. Oh, Burnett had a wonderful smile. And he loved railroading, too. Here, Stacy. These flowers got knocked out of their basket. Maybe some water will help them live longer. Why are they broken? Because a man called Boomer's back in town, and he doesn't believe in magic. Hello, Mr. Conductor. Oh, hello, Billy. 
Toolkit, check. Ticket puncher, check, check. Aye, 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 aye. All aboard! Just testing, Billy. I mustn't let my conducting skills get rusty. Important day, Mr. C. <laughs> it is a very important day. I'm going to the island of Sodor. You know, it's the only place in my universe where I really fit in size-wise. So Topham Hat has given me a big responsibility. Diesel 10 is back. And I have to make sure that he behaves himself. Excuse me, Billy. I hope your visit goes well, Mr. C. Thank you, Billy. <clears throat> I must be responsible, reliable, and... Don't tell me. <sighs> really useful. I knew that. What does Diesel 10 mean about unfinished business? I think he's looking for something. Or some engine. Oh, poor engine. Go away, you fussy fly. You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for. To stop engines crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? My wheels were feeling worn out with work, so Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I can be a really useful engine. And when I have, I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hatt says the harder we work, the less he'll need diesel to ha help you. <laughs> you will always need help because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. No, we're not. Yes, you are. Aren't. Arr! I've come back to dominate you and to destroy her. When I'm done with my plan, she'll be nothing but useless scrap. Big bully! You won't dominate, and you won't destroy. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. Who's her? I'm sorry, what did you say? Oh, well, thank you, Moby Dick. I like my sparkle, too. You know, gold really is your color. <laughs> Stacy, where did you find this painting? In an old locker. It was done by Burnett Stone when he was a child. I was told that he used to work on this railroad. But he never leaves the other side of the mountain now. You seem puzzled, Mr. Conductor. Well, I am puzzled. This place looks like the island of Sodor, but how would Burnett Stone travel there without gold dust? Anyway, I just came to say goodbye. I have to go now. Right now? Why, yes, Stacy. I have to make sure that everything is safe and sound on the island of Sodor, just as I try to do here. Is something the matter? Oh, uh, nothing. Nothing to worry about, Mr. Conductor. But Mutt sensed trouble, and that just like Diesel on Sodor, Boomer was the cause of it here in the valley. Burnett Stone, Muffle Mountain. Old Smokey, you stay right here until I get back. Ah, there you are. Is something wrong here? <laughs> now, what kind of an answer is that? Ah, I'm going to be late. 
I'll get back as fast as I can. I have to concentrate now, Mutt. I'm having a problem with my sparkle, and I don't know why. Mutt? Goodbye, Mutt. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Mr. Conductor, where are you? Why haven't you sparkled into my cab? Oh, Mr. Conductor, are you all right? Yes, Thomas, but sometimes everything happens at once. I have to see Sir Topham Hatt to get my orders right away. The journey from Shining Time keeps getting bumpier and bumpier. A big bully diesel is back, Mr. Conductor. You had better be careful. Sir Topham Hatt warned me about diesel. Don't worry, Thomas. I'll just pop in and out with my sparkle wherever he goes and keep him in order. I hope. I've got a job for you, Splodge. Er, uh, 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 it's Splatter and Dodge. Well, you ain't got time to say both names. I've come back to find a steam engine. That's easy. They're everywhere. Not the one I want. She's special. As long as she exists, so do the others. But if she can be destroyed... Destroyed? Did you say destroyed? Yes. Destroyed. There's a, a little... Uh, or teeny problem, if boss. If you're talking about Twinkle Toes, I'll settle him with this. Oh, oh. I don't think you meant to do that. Wobbly wheels, you're just jealous, James. Puffy pistons, you shouldn't have collected, Mr. Conductor. I should have. James is right, little Thomas. Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job. Important is big, and we are big engines. You are small, so we should have picked him up. <clears throat> Bossy sprockets. Stop squabbling, all of you. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. I think Diesel believes in the legend of the lost engine. What legend? Of an engine more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to destroy her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Huh. Little engines can do big things, too. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, a real honor, sir, like my family before me. And how is Lady Hat? Uh, yes. Watch out for Diesel, definitely. Keep an eye on Henry's health, certainly. Uh, yes, sir, the three R's, reading, writing, and arithmetic. Uh, I mean, I will be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Yes, sir. We will all get a good night's sleep. Looking forward to a hard day tomorrow. Goodbye, sir. Just a little sweeter, I think.
Hello, Twinkle Toes. I've got a plan and you're not in it. You can't catch me, Diesel. <laughs> Losing your sparkle, eh? <laughs> what perfect timing. Where's that lost engine? You'll not find her here. You're not clever enough to stop me. Well, yes, I am. No, you're not. Is that? That's right. It's sugar, Diesel. And if I throw this in your tank, it'll seize you up for good. Make the most of tonight, Twinkle Toes, because you won't like tomorrow. Neither will that... that line of tin kettles. Mr. Conductor, but what happened to your sparkle? I don't know, Thomas. I'll just have to sleep on that. On your sparkle? No, Thomas. On the problem of what happened to it. You just go to sleep now. Sparkle, gold dust, magic, railroad, buffers. The family told me, as long as there is a railroad, there will be harmony. As long as there is gold dust, there will be energy. The family told me, we have made sure that our railroad is safe. We have made sure that our gold dust will last forever. You will never have to worry. <laughs> Yeah, sure. Mr. C. Mr. C. Why aren't you here? Why couldn't you travel anymore to the island of Sodor? Or back home here to us in shining time? The magic is all gone. Gone from here and gone from Sodor. Ha! What's going wrong with our railroad and why? My universe is in danger. I've got to find more gold dust. Far away in Muffle Mountain, Grandpa Burnett could help if only he could remember how. You can survive. So will this valley. I just don't seem to understand about about magic anymore. My childhood. It seems so so long. So long ago. Tasha, the conductor family has a little steam engine with her own railroad that has wonderful energy because of her. But our diesel wants to destroy her. And without her, the conductor's universe will vanish. The man with the sparkle told me that one day one of his family would return. But until then, he told me, guard her well, young Burnett. But I didn't guard you well. By now, Mutt had traveled to the big city station. He was looking for me. He sensed a threat to Mr. Conductor's universe and that somehow, like Grandpa, I could help overcome it. His instinct told him I needed to go to Shining Time first. The, the train from Muffle Mountain, Mountain will depart from track three. Last stop, Muffle Mountain. Mountain. The train to Shining Time will depart from track four. I don't suppose you know where track three is, do you? You do? Is it that one? Well, why not? 
I hope you're right. <laughs> I really like this picture. I remember Grandpa saying that Grandma Tasha's dress was as red as the apples on a summer apple tree. But that other boy Grandpa said was really nasty. His name was Boomer. There, James. Tickle all gone now? No, Mr. Conductor. My nose is still itchy. Mm. Why are you so tired? You just don't seem yourself at all. Diesel says red is a really tiring color. Is it because I'm red? Oh, no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful, just like my sparkle. Or at least it was, and must be again. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill. And search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. <laughs> what happened? Where's the windmill? That's where I'm supposed to be. Well, now I've completely lost my sense of direction. <coughs> now my gold dust really is all gone. And if I can't find the source for making more, I know how bad the consequences will be. I saw them in my dream last night. My family never told me what to do in a gold dust crisis. They only said, if you can't remember the clue, the windmill will remind you. But where is the windmill? And what is the clue? I'll be rich, Burnett. Rich. That's the stranger. I better tell Billy. So what are we going to do now, little Thomas? Mr. Conductor's lost his sparkle, and now he's gone and left us, too. This will destroy me. I need help. Who's going to give it to me? I think we're all in danger. And maybe the lost engine can save us. Really? Then the lost engine must be even bigger than me. <laughs> oh, no. 
Now Thomas is getting ill. I've still got a dusty funnel, that's all. Now I'm going to look for Mr. Conductor. How about a race, Thomas? Sorry, Bertie, I can't today. I have to be a really useful engine and solve some mysteries instead. What's that? What's this? I notice you left your thinking cap behind. Try these instead. They're good for the brain. Gone fishing rabbit. Well, well, well. <laughs> How very thoughtful. Plain, drain. Mountain, fountain, that might be something. I think I'll try the celery. Sausage, bicycle, <laughs> toothpaste, beach. <laughs> Beach, that's it, that's it! <laughs> I have to find a bellflower. I need to make a call. By now, I was all alone on the train, and I felt sure I wasn't going to Muffle Mountain. That's my shell phone. Hello? Junior? Junior, is that you? Oh. Hi, Kaz. Are you in a tunnel? This, this isn't a very good line. Junior, where are you? Um, I'm in paradise. I just got on cloud nine and here I am. Junior, listen to me. I've run out of gold dust and because of that I'm losing my energy as well. You've got to come to the island of Sodor right now. Now? But I'm waiting on the perfect wave. Oh, no, you're not. You're coming here. Okay. How? On our railroad, that's how. You have to help me find the source of all our family's gold dust. What is the source? That's the trouble, Junior. I haven't a clue. You haven't a clue? And I've used up most of my gold dust too. What? <sighs> then go to Shining Time Station first. And in my signal house, in the box, under the staircase, you'll find my emergency whistle with the last of my supply. Please take care of this, Junior, and don't talk to anyone about the buffers. The universe of the entire Conductor family is in jeopardy. What buffers? Shh! This is a really bad line. Hello? My shell phone's not working properly. Junior, you've got to come here right away. I'm counting on you. Hello? Hello? I want my money back. Shining time? What does that mean? You again? 
Do you want me to get off here? What is this place? The magic is gone. The lost engine's in danger. The diesel tin. Sodor. Shining time. Why are you sleeping when you should be helping? But I can't help without my gold dust. I need my gold dust. I need my gold dust. I need my gold dust. Someone there? Thomas, is that you? Oh, Mr. Conductor, where are you? Thomas? Thomas? How could I possibly say that I'm really useful now? Where is everyone? What have you brought me here for? I don't want to have to do this. I mean, I don't know how to do this. I mean, what does Gus think I am, Houdini? Who's there? <sighs> <laughs> This is too much. I've got to get back to the island. I've got to get to cousin. Hiya. Yeah. Who are you? I'm Lily. Who are you? See, <laughs> Junior. Did I drop some sunglasses when I came in here? I don't know. Oh, well. I might as well use some more of this stuff. See you, Lily. But what is this stuff? Mr. Doobeathers! I've seen the stranger and he looks like he's trying to destroy the mountain. Thank you for telling me, Patch. Mr. Two Feathers, why are there two lines in the middle of this meadow? I've never noticed that before. If we knew the answer to that question, Patch, we'd understand the mystery of this ballad. Excuse me. Are you Lily? Yeah. <sighs> Hi, I'm Stacy Jones. I'm manager here. You must have gotten on the wrong train. Your grandpa's very upset. I'm going to take you back to Muffle Mountain. Thank you. Stacy, did you know my grandma? My mother did. She said Tasha was a wonderful dancer. And Billy says that Burnett was once the finest railroad engineer in the valley. I think Grandpa liked to call Grandma Lady. Lady? Yes, I heard him say that name. Well, my mother said your grandpa certainly had three passions in his life. Tasha, trains, and this valley. That, uh, engine. She's in that mountain, isn't she? Even if she were, she'd be no good to you now. You're wrong, Burnett Stone. Just like you're always wrong. Magic can make a man unhappy. Look what it's done to you. I'm after money, not magic. She's good for one thing. She's good for scrap. <laughs> I'll be back, Burnett Stone. Wish. And I'm just going to have to level this mountain. Who's that man with Grandpa? I found you. Now a I'm man who doesn't that. like beauty. Grandpa. Well, have a good evening, Burnett. Thanks, Stacy. Good night. Stacy, 
Hmm? You said I wish. I wish? Oh, yes. I wish you'd come back and see us tomorrow at Shining Time. If your grandpa lets you. Hey, Grandpa, I saw this really cool guy down at the station. He was really little and kind of... Golden. Can you believe that? I used to believe that. Now I'll only believe what I can see. Come on. How come you don't live in the valley? I don't like trains. But the trains come to Muffle Mountain. To the other side. This side, there's neither sight nor sound of them. Are you sure you don't like trains, Grandpa? I'm sure. Here, Grandpa. I made this for you. It's a friendship bracelet. Thanks, Lily. I'll do it. was Grandma's favorite song. As Grandpa's heart shut out the engine that his ears could clearly hear, the engines on Sodor had her very much in their thoughts. I'm sorry I'm late, Thomas, but there was something wrong with the track switches, and I went the long way around. Percy, I've always thought that gold dust is all Mr. Conductor needs to travel here. But maybe he's really supposed to travel on the lost engine. He talked about buffers in his sleep last night. Buffers are at the end of a railway. The journey gets bumpier and bumpier. That's what Mr. Conductor told me. I think that's how he travels here, on a secret railway. 
belonging to the lost engine. Oh, Percy, my wheels suddenly feel a little wobbly. I think Diesel is around here somewhere. I'm sorry, you two. Diesel heard every word you said. I'm going after him to see what he does next. You'd better carry on and get the mail delivered. You're very brave, Toby. Oh, Diesel won't bother with an old engine like me. He thinks I'm really useless. Come in and join the party, Splodge. Hooray, hooray, we're going to have a party, we're going to have a party. Who's got the balloon? Who's got the balloon? Correction. Join the party that's over. Just like Twinkle Toe's magic railway's going to be over. Gone like the lost engine. And the buffers that lead to her. Destroy, Splodge. Destroy! <laughs> uh, but, but we might hurt somebody uh, or something. So? What are you going to do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to finally put Twinkle Toe's lights out. This is a job for the boss. I've got to delay him. I've got to distract him. It's the old teapot. Smash him! Eh, uh, boss, did you mean to do that? I always mean what I do. Although the engines had much to worry about, they were all doing their best to be responsible, reliable, and really useful. Morning, Henry. What's the matter? I've got boiler ache. Then it's a good thing that I'm off to fetch special coal for you. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Special coal will make me feel much better. I wish I could make Mr. Conductor feel better by finding him. Hello, Twinkle Toes. Remember me? Fat Hat won't have much use for you looking like that. I see you forgot to bring the sugar. How careless of you. <laughs> That's what I saw in my dream. It's starting to come true. Watch out for the viaduct, Diesel! Tell me where the buffers are. I know they'll lead me to the lost engine. <laughs> You've got 10 <laughs> seconds. 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Too late, Diesel. Did you put all this here for me? You must have known that I was coming. How kind of you. Oh, I'm at the windmill. Now that's what I call a perfect landing. This must be the clue to the source of the gold dust. 
stoke up the magic in the mountain and the lady will smile. Then watch the swirls that spin so well. Well, where's the writing gone? See? Where'd you learn to do that? On my fire escape. Hiya, I'm Patch. I'm Lily. Do you live around here? Yes, my mom and dad were on the stables. Good morning, Patch. Oh, good morning, Mr. Stone. I'm riding into Shining Time. Could Lily come with me? If she'd like to. I'd like to. Well, Lily, I... Sure. She can go. Be back by sunset, Lily. Do you want to come too? I don't think so. I, uh, I never go there now. Bye, Grandpa. So, have you ever ridden a horse before? No. Patch, Grandpa says that trains don't go up that mountain. But... But what, Lily? I'm sure I heard one last night. So it's not just me. You see, Lily, I've heard it too. Lots of times. But if we've both heard it... Then why not Grandpa too? There's nothing wrong with this hearing. I've always wanted to go this way. We're following some shadowy lines I've seen on a map. They're like railroad tracks without any rails. These are like the lights I saw in the city. No one noticed them but me. Lily, I'm going to the store. I'll meet you back here in time for sunset. Thanks. Junior? Bisto, I give it up on seeing you again. What's blue, green, red and goes beep beep? A parrot and he means sharp sharp. Ah, trains, talking trains. I'm off to see them right now on the island of Sodor and Cousin. I overslept and I'm in a little hurry. Do you want to come? Can we be back here by sunset? I hope so. I want to get back to the beach. What do you think, Mutt? <coughs> okay. Good. It's... this way. We'll take the shortcut. Really? Mmm. But there's two of us. Oh. Oh, well, that means I'll have to use Cuz's extra supply gold dust. Oh, it doesn't matter. We'll have plenty more soon. Can I take this little bit back for Grandpa? Be my guest. I'll take care of it for you. Ready? Here goes. You've grown bigger. Maybe you're smaller. I'm just adjusting properly to my new surroundings. <sighs> it's the only place that ever happens to me. Whoa! <laughs> Bit bouncy, isn't it? Where are we? Conductor's Railroad. Magic Railroad? <sighs> Whatever. We're traveling miles and miles to the island. <sighs> but... I don't know if this railroad's going to last much longer. 
It'll vanish like the engine. What engine? The engine that used to travel on this railroad. Cousin and I never saw it. We don't know what happened to it. You ready, Lily? Here are the buffers. Hey, what's that doing there? Ready? No! Where are we? Uh, the island of Soda, of course. Uh, this way. What's the matter? I think I'm allergic to grass. What's that noise? The trains, I told you they talk. Just too far away to hear what they're saying. The last coal truck disappeared when I was at the buffers near the little grotto. Maybe those are the buffers that lead to the secret railway. And the grotto is the lost engine's special platform. Percy, you protect those buffers from diesel and I'll find Mr. Conductor. Me? Why me? Annie, Clarabel, there's Mr. Conductor. We found him. No, I'm telling look, you, look, it's this way. I here. promise you, look, it's this way. Come on. Oh, come on. Look, look, wait a minute. Why? Junior, look. It's Thomas. Thomas. Now, don't look so surprised. I know you haven't seen me since... Hugh stuff party poppers down my funnel. Hey, we had a laugh. You did. You're talking to each other. Ah, first prize. Lily, Thomas. Thomas, Lily. Now, where's my cousin? Hi. Hello, Lily. Come on, Lily. I'm very at home on trains. Annie, Clarabel, I'll send Percy back to fetch you. We've heard that one before. Uh, oh. What's the matter? Travel sickness. What's that shining at the windmill? Bristol, Lily. I think it's my cousin. Hey, Cass, what's up? You enjoying the sun? No, Junior, I am not. As a matter of fact, I just landed here after escaping a heavy metal monster. Junior, where have you been? Is your sparkle back, Mr. Conductor? No, Thomas, it isn't. But I do know the clue. Stoke up the magic in the mountain. Hey, cuz, you're looking terrible. Why don't we get more gold dust? Because I used yours up. Then you can go back home and I can go to the beach. Junior, I want you to listen to me and I want you to listen to me very carefully. I'll get that. I've got it. Hello? No, this is his cousin. Who's this? Oh, hello, Hattie. No, 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 no. He's hanging around here somewhere. <laughs> yes, Sir Topham Hat, sir. No, he just wanted to be friendly. No, he's not a dog. Well, let's just say he's a puppy in need of a good trainer. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, nothing to worry about, sir. Goodbye, sir. Because... Oh, this is Lily. She's staying with her grumpy old grandpa Stone. Hello, Lily. Hello. Junior?
Give us two seconds. Well, two seconds is all it takes for you to land in trouble. <laughs> Twinkle Toes Jr. Oh well. Yeah. What's going to happen to Junior now? Well, my family is usually pretty good at getting themselves out of trouble, eventually. Oh, Mr. Conductor, you don't know Diesel like I do. Why me? Why me? Why me? Why me? These are the last set of buffers on this island. It's got to be this one. What if it is? What's on the other side? Are we supposed to go through it? Not we. You. Not me. You. This is a job for the boss. Uh, we'll tell him tomorrow. I must hurry back and tell Thomas. Where's Lily? I wish I knew. I'm sorry, Mr. Stone. She wasn't at the station when I went back for her. We'll find her. Don't worry. Mr. Stone? I've heard an engine's whistle on this mountain. You heard wrong, Patch. Well, I mean... I'd be too deaf to hear. But Lily said you heard a dog bark. You never hear wrong, do you? Now, where exactly did you hear that whistle? I don't talk with bullies, Boomer. <laughs> well, everybody has their price. Now, what's yours? I think of all you could buy with this. Forget it, Boomer! You'll never catch us! This is the end of the line, Twinkle Toes Jr. Although he realized his own situation was serious, Mr. Conductor was trying to keep me cheerful. He knew I was worried about being late for Grandpa. Mr. Conductor, I was supposed to be back by sunset. You know, Lily, perhaps your Grandpa can guess where you are. He can? Maybe. Because I think he's been here himself long ago. And if he can help, I do wish he'd hurry. I haven't told Junior this, but soon he'll grow as weak as I am. So you really do love Junior, don't you? <laughs> yes, even though he makes me mad sometimes, but that's what families are for. Someone to be there for you in the bad times as well as the good. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes, it is. Junior said there used to be an engine that traveled on the Magic Railroad. And if only we could find that, we could still head back to Shining Time. Oh, that engine disappeared. Never to be seen or heard from again. Grandpa says you can't hear train engines from our house. But I have to tell you something, Mr. C. I've heard a train whistle, and it sounded like it was coming from the mountain. Lily, have you told anyone else? No, only my friend Patch. He heard it from the mountain, too. Mountain. I just remembered another part of the clue. Stoke up the magic in the mountain and the lady will smile. 
But we need more information, Lily. And I know that your grandpa could help if he would just believe that he could. Lady? Well, Lady, what are we to do? It all seems so much easier when Tasha and I were children. One day, Tasha, I'm hoping to be able to drive this engine, and I'll take you with me. Promise you, Burnett, promise? I promise. Boomer, how did you find me here? I found the entrance to your workshop ages ago. But I would never tell anybody, not even a bully like Boomer. Well, you're braver than I was, Patch. See that switch on the wall? Flip it on. So it is true. We did hear an engine in the mountain. Yeah. All mountains have their secrets, Patch. Shouldn't surprise a kid like you. Could I help you, Mr. Stone? Sure. You can help me dust her off. This engine's name is Lady. Why is she locked up? She isn't. She's safe from harm. Or was. Boomer's looking for Lady, isn't he? Yes, he is. Why does Boomer want to hurt her, Mr. Stone? When we were young men, he was very angry because he didn't want to understand about magic. And jealous because Lily's grandma loved me. So he took revenge. He found Lady and threatened to destroy her if I didn't let him drive her. Unlike you, Patch, I gave in to a bully. He drove her. He used up all her coal. He made her go too fast. And then he crashed her. After that, he ran away, and I brought her here. I tried my best to fix her up, but I've never been able to make up for the mistake I made. And I've never been able to bring her to life, to make her steam. Patch, she's as precious as gold. And that's all Boomer's interested in. Selling her trim for scrap. I'll always fight to protect her. She can whistle. I've heard her. And so have I. It's because she's magic. Oh, we must get Lily back to her grandpa now in case the magic railroad is closed forever. But how can Lily go without gold dust? Only in the lost engine. Unless... Thomas, will you please take Lily? Through the buffers? But what if I go on the railway and my wheels don't work? But what if they do? But what if... if... Yes? What if it's dark? It will be for a while. And cold? Maybe. And how will I get back again? Because you're a really useful engine and we'll find a way. Then I'll try. This must be the map of her magic railroad. But the railroad's energy is fading away. I sensed it when we were out riding. Lily and I were traveling on the ground above it. The railroad needs Lady. But I don't know her special secret. And I need to know it now more than ever. Because of Lily? Yes, because of Lily. I was unhappy to leave, Mr. Conductor, but he had told me he must stay for Junior's sake. Oh, cinders and ashes. Lily, what's going to happen now? Steam through the buffers, Thomas. It 
is dark. And it is cold. It is bumpy. <gasps> There's the missing coal truck. Stoke up the magic in the mountain. That's part of Mr. Conductor's clue to his gold dust. And Lily, that's what you do with coal. Stoke it up to make it steam. Mr. Conductor needs to... Lily? Lily? Lily, where are you? Little engines can do big things. I'm not going to lose Lily, and I'm not going to lose that coal truck again either. I'm going back, and I'm going alone. You're a really useful engine, Thomas. I can't go any further. My wheels won't let me. Then I'll be back, Thomas. I promise, but I must find Grandpa. I'm going to get my revenge, Burnett Stone. <laughs> you and that engine. You know what revenge sounds like. Bother my boiler, I've left the coal truck behind. Where's Grandpa? Can you take me to him? Jump up. Patch, I know I can count on you. Oh, Lily, I'm so glad to Everything see you. Everything I've seen in Shining Time is true. And there's this island with talking trains, and they said you might have been there. But Mr. Conductor is very sick, and Junior's in danger, and I had to leave poor Thomas behind. Please help me. This is a lost engine from long ago. Now we can go back to the island and bring Mr. Conductor and Junior home. I can't make her steam. I've tried everything and nothing works. Lady. Is that her name? Yes. Coal. Special coal from the island of Sodor. That's what Lady needs. Patch, there's a coal truck up at the top of the mountain. Do you think you could get it for us? Of course I will. I haven't been very whatever it is, responsible, reliable, really useful, but I will be. Hello, James. Oh no, it's empty.
I'll find you some more, Lily. I promise. But if I'm going to be any help at all, it's now or never. I've got to use up the rest of this stuff. James the Brains, get us out of here. Bye, James. Oh, sorry it'd be so long, Kaz. But better late than never. Junior, we're all out of gold dust, aren't we? Bankrupt. Hey, it's a beautiful day. I mean, we're down, but we're not out. No, we're out. But we are not down. Did Grandma love Lady as much as you do? Did she take a ride on her? Grandma loved her because I loved her. But she never took a ride on Lady. I couldn't fix her in time. Oh, I wanted to take Tasha on our shining time. On your shining time? That wonderful journey when the trail, train wheels turn and the rails shine. There was always going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow, Lady would work again. Tomorrow, everything would be perfect. But then it was too late. I shut out tomorrow. Grandpa, don't shut out today, too. Lily, Mr. Stone, I've got the coal. Well, my lady, the lights are all green for you now. Green for glory. Tasha would have loved this journey. Yes, she would. And she'd love it that you were with me now. Stoke up the magic in the mountain, and the lady will smile. But what's the rest of Mr. Conductor's clue? Lily, look! The railroad's getting its energy back.
Alice. Grandpa, we're nearly there. I can see the buffers. Get ready, lady. She's done it, Grandpa. She's done it. We're on the island of Sodor. Stop, Grandpa. Stop, lady. Mr. Conductor, this is my Grandpa. I'm glad you were able to find your way back. Junior, do you realize who this is? I reckon this is one beautiful engine. <gasps> this is a lost engine. Oh, are we glad to see you. Now we can go back to shining time. Junior, we won't make it back to shining time without the gold dust. Without it, the magic can't exist. I'm here. Oh, Thomas, I'm so sorry I had to leave you behind. I'll get you, Blue Puffball. And that engine, too. She'll never get away from me. Splodge, come and help me! No, no, do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, do it yourself, do it yourself. And we mean that. Yeah, we mean that. Run, lady, quickly, and I'm going to help you. So am I, my lady. I'll not let you down again. Watch out for the viaduct. It's dangerous. Now I'll get you, Burnett Stone. Yes. No, you won't, Boomer. Because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. Okay, Burnett, the gloves are off. Well, lady, this is your shining time, too. Well done, Thomas. Well done. Ah! Puffball, teapot, tin kettle.
Now, Mr. Conductor, can you solve the rest of the riddle? Wait a minute. Then watch the swirls that spin so well. Swirls! Just like all the wonderful shavings around Lady when we were on the railroad. Here, I'll go get them. Here, look. Is there anything else? Of course there is. So well. A well means water. Put the shavings in with the water. Now, mix the ingredients together and shake them around like they used to do in the old days, panning for gold. Go ahead, Lily. Throw it up in the air. Please. Please. Now, Lily. Goldust. Goldust. <laughs> Goldust. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Thank you, everyone. You're quite a lady. Thank you. Come on, Mud. Let's go home. Lily, I think I promised you something. Here. Take some. So, cuz, now that we've said goodbye to the bad guys, how else can I help? You mean you don't want to go back to the beach? Nah. <laughs> well, maybe for a holiday. But I'm ready to work. You got a job for me? You know, Junior, there is a railroad. With palm trees? One or two. And sunshine? Sunny spells. I'll take it. What's the way? This is the way. Hello? Oh, yes, Sir Topham Hatt, sir. You're on your way back right now. Well, splendid news. I'll be at the sheds to welcome you. Oh, yes, sir. Everything is under control. Goodbye, sir. Well, see you in shining time. Here, Grandpa. I'd like you to have this. Well, how sweet of you, Lily. Here, give me the bluebird. I think we should share it. Now, we'll always be able to remember our shining time together. And I came back every summer and became an engineer like your great-grandpa and his lifelong friend, Billy. I keep imagining I can meet Thomas, too. Then that's what counts. Now, it's time to go home. Sometimes, all it takes is a little train engine and the spirit of the child within us 
to see the beauty in our lives and hope that we can always find it there. <laughs>